Welcome back, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog. And this week, I'm excited to talk about the Pivotal Upflow Plenum. It's a little piece out of Manual D. Without further ado, here's the training. All right, so the first positive pressure fitting in an upflow furnace or air handler that we see is the plenum. In order for your air to have a chance to meet the design and the needs of volume, velocity, and throw, your choice in plenum construction is critical. Of course, this is easiest for new duct systems, but let's explore the choices and what to look for on system replacements. First off, the bad. The worst fitting that I typically see in a residential duct system is what is so elegantly called a bullhead T. This is a 1H fitting and creates so much turbulence and pressure loss that the equivalent length is typically 120 feet. This is since the height of the trunk, which is usually eight or 10 inches, is less than half the width of the plenum, which is typically 18 to 20 inches. The pressure loss is easily 0.12 inches of water call. And this can be a problem for larger duct systems with decent filtration and AC add-ons. Since the time to fix and replace these plenums and starting collars is when the mechanical system is removed, mandating a fix as part of any proposal should be in order. Next, the good. By creating a box plenum on top of a furnace or AC coil and just simply capping the top, it becomes exponentially easier to pressurize that box and have the air make the initial turn into the trunk with much less turbulence. This is a 1C fitting. Simply stabbing the trunk directly straight into the side of the plenum, the equivalent length can be reduced to just 35 feet. When expressing this as a static pressure loss, it's just 0 0.035 inches of water column, which compared to a bullhead T would save 0 0.085 inches of water column. This could easily be the difference in using what could look like an undersized trunk duct with a new higher efficient furnace or heat pump when calculating friction rate. Now let's hit the best. Instead of stabbing the trunk duct directly into the side of the plenum like a 1H fitting, by using a tapered transition with an offset collar and making it even easier for the air to make the turn, the equivalent length can be reduced to a minuscule 10 feet, which is a 1D fitting. This can be challenging in the past with considerable height furnaces and large A coils in short basements. With furnace heights getting shorter annually and the option of higher capacity evaporator coils like an N style, height is less of an issue these days. Note that the width of this transition just needs to be at least half the height of the trunk. So as an example, if the trunk was eight inches in height, the width of the transition just needs to be four inches in order to accomplish the 45 degree angle needed on the inside radius. If you were to go from the 1H bullhead T to this 1D tapered transition offset collar, you would save an astonishing 0.11 inches of water column. This drastic change could improve your airflow so much that overhauling the entire duct system and ripping into walls may not be necessary. So when looking to fix significant airflow problems, particularly with pressure losses and system replacement challenges, you should begin with the near equipment fittings as these typically represent the highest pressure losses in the system with regards to the highest equivalent feet. By using the best, lowest equivalent length fittings here, you can be assured improvements to duct runs and airflow further down the pathways. Of course, this is just the beginning of duct design and confirmation when it comes to system replacements. The more you know, the more you will incline to offer complete duct system overhauls, in particular when it comes to higher efficient furnaces. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog. We provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.